Hey, what's up? Jixer here. Is your iPhone battery draining faster than usual and wondering if it's time for a replacement? Knowing the actual capacity of your iPhone's battery can help you determine its health and performance. In this video, I'll show you an effective method to check your iPhone's battery capacity without requiring any special tools or apps. Let's go. To check the battery capacity of your iPhone, open the Settings app on your iPhone and find Battery. Tap on it, then go to Battery Health and Charging. Here, you'll see Maximum Capacity. This percentage indicates the current battery capacity relative to when it was new. For example, 88% means your battery can hold 88% of its original charge. But iOS doesn't really predict the maximum capacity all that well. Sometimes this number is just not updated after many months. To check the real battery capacity of your iPhone, we'll use the battery cycles. Go back to the main settings. Scroll down until you get your privacy and security. Then go a bit further all the way down to analytics and improvements. Ensure you enable share iPhone analytics data because if it's disabled, you won't have any data reports. If you have just enabled it, you need to wait a couple of days. The frequency can vary depending on factors like usage patterns and iPhone models. Now click Analytics Data where you'll see a bunch of reports. From the reports, get the latest one that is closest to your current day with the word Analytics and the date. For example, here on my device, I have the Analytics report from the 20th day of September 2024. Tap on it and you'll see a bunch of text and information that may seem random but we need to select all of it and copy it. If you've copied the entire analytics successfully, go ahead and open a blank note in your notes app, then paste it there. Click done, then the three dots and click find in note. Type last underscore value underscore cycle. Look for the last value cycle counts, which I have here 368. This refers to the number of times your battery has been fully charged and discharged since its initial use. This metric is a measure of battery health and longevity. To calculate the real maximum capacity, on your calculator, input the number of your cycle count, which mine is 368, and multiply it by 20, because according to Apple, after 500 cycles, we lose 20%, then divide by 500. The output 14.72 is the percentage lost in the battery health, then subtract it to 100. The equivalent will be the actual maximum capacity versus what the iPhone is showing you in the battery settings. Extreme temperatures, frequent fast charging, and using the device while charging can affect battery health. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or other problems with your Apple device, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.